Malton is located in the region of Peel. It is bordered by Highway 427 to the east, Steeles Avenue to the north, Airport Road to the west, and Toronto International Airport to the south. Stands today has historical monuments, community centers, apartment buildings, small business plazas, medical centers, and places of worship. I think Malton is a beautiful, resilient, dynamic, diverse, uh, vibrant community. That's how I see Malton. The heart of Mississauga is in Malton because of the diversity culturally, ethnically, and of course um, because it's such a intimate uh, town that uh, we are more closely knit. Malton started off as a farming community. The Grand Truck Railway came to Malton in 1854. Malton was turned into a major export center for wheat from local mills. In 1973, the train station was demolished. Today, it is the Canadian National Railway. Malton was identified by Great Britain as one of the Air Force bases for fighter planes to fly out of. The homes we had were small. Malton was the home of the Avro Aero plant. Unfortunately, Avro Aero, the best fighter jet of the time, was cancelled and later destroyed by the Canadian government. A gas plant explosion caused a major fire in Malton on October 25, 1969, killing a woman, injuring many, and destroying the Malton neighborhood, making it look like a war zone. Some merchants tried to rebuild Malton but were unsuccessful. Community with, with the farmers and then the Italians, the Italians are white, but the, the, the speech became Italian. Then when they, when they finished building their homes, a lot of them stayed here, a lot of them are still here, longer than, than, than we are, as a matter of fact. Then um, the black population started to come in, then the um, South Asians started coming in, so it's really, really a melting pot. Now we're here, the aircraft place is gone, uh, the International Center has been revamped because it used to be one of the, the places where the motors were being built. Malton started out as an agricultural community and today it has developed into such a modern place to be. The development of Malton can be hugely contributed to the support of political leaders, community leaders, religious leaders, schools, residents and businesses. Malton is getting much condensed in terms of the number of people. There's no more room for homes. The South Asian business community has contributed to the new commercial plaza and expanding real estate in Malton. The one and only Western Mall underwent major transformation through time. It started off with a few stores and then was renovated to include Walmart and many more stores. This was soon evolved to Westwood Square, the largest South Asian mall in Canada. Two organizations are really working to develop and improve Malton are the Malton Black Development Association to help the black community and the Punjabi Community Health Services to help the South Asian community. Involved, and it was started on the basis of um, education for the black youth coming from the Caribbean and to get them um, assimilate into the, 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 the Malton uh, or the Canadian uh, community, you know, as a whole. So the Punjabi Community Health Services was started in July 1990. So I started it because I realized that many of uh, uh, people coming from Indian subcontinent, from India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, they were not able to speak English very well. So as a result, they were not able to access some of the services, some of the settlement services or some of the health related services. Now we have Malton United working on the Malton Community Building Project. The library was first built in 1962. Ten years ago, it was expanded and renovated to be an integral part of the Malton community. As te technology has increased, we have a lot more computers than we used to, um, which is fabulous. And Malton actually has one of the heaviest uses for computers in the entire library system. Um, it always comes as a bit of a surprise to um, when we look at the stats, because we might not have the most computers, but when you look at the computers that we have and how much they're used and compare them, our computers are used almost more than any other place in the city. So people are, are emigrating with their technology. 
The education system in Malton has developed to a great extent, with public schools, private schools, and several support programs for youth and adults provided by community agencies, such as the Malton Neighborhood Services, the Library, CET, and Adult Learning Center. Lincoln Alexander Secondary School used to be Westwood, and this particular school here, Morningstar Middle School, was um, on in South Secondary School. Today, the students of Malton don't have to leave the community to access special programs such as IB, Arts and Technology, French Immersion, Early Learning Programs, Schism Programs such as Transportation, Business and Hospitality. I talk all the time, of course, about the food, whether it's a Jamaican patty or a samosa. Good food is good food and you can get it all in Malton. Um, recently they have the community health center that's that's come into Malton Four Corners. That's a new thing and that's really I think a really great initiative. Um, I've seen the community center grow over the years and before that I've seen a lot of changes when I used to come when I was a lot younger. I've seen Malton kind of get more developed. Western Mall got bigger and, and things are kind of improving so I think I've seen some improvements over the years. City Malton has uh, is constantly moving forward I think there's a lot of, you can see, uh, you know, for example, um, your Westwood Mall. Uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, stores and, and new uh, things being built there, which shows that the, the community is thriving, it's growing. Um, again, we have the Pearson Airport, which is a big part of your community here, where a lot of people uh, work and, uh, uh, every day and live in this community. And you have a wonderful, diverse culture here that a lot of people here want to be part of. And uh, I think that's a wonderful um, way to show that the community is developing. And not only economically, uh, socially, but um, as spiritually as a, as a community. Malton has been stereotyped and has a reputation that it truly does not deserve. Um, a community that maybe has uh, not traditionally um, paid enough attention to itself. Newcomers may not have high-paying jobs while they have to wait for their educational qualifications evaluated. This does not mean that Malton has poor people living in it. Many of them actually have a high level of education. It didn't get the same attention that it should have got from Mississauga, the city of Mississauga, and I think from the provincial government, and I think even the federal government. They didn't give Mississauga and, or Malton enough attention, and the rest of Mississauga got a lot of attention. A lot of like buildings were built, and a lot of things were made, but it wasn't as good of a direction taken. And Malton, it should have been built up more. The people who have a bad reputation in their mind about Malton, don't know Malton. Do they get involved? Do, they see, do we see them at different uh, community engagement uh, meetings? No. And I thought to myself, wonder what's happening here? Why is it so many cruises around? Not knowing that um, uh, they were, police was here to participate in uh, basketball and uh, she happily here she to raise fund for cancer research but there are people would pass by and see those cars and thought well something serious is happening so that's a matter of perception in most cases we cannot be one but we can live as one live in unity live in peace I, think I would like to change people's perception and attitudes about Malton uh, I think that um, a lot of people who don't know Malton uh, have a preconceived notion about Malton that is uh, completely incorrect. I think, if anything, the, the reputation of Malton has changed to a positive one. First of all, we are better in basketball than anywhere. I don't care where you're from. We have the best basketball players. We also have just a lot of talented people coming from Malton. Uh, a lot of comedians, basketball players, hockey players. A lot of people know who Russell Peters is, but and they know he's from Brampton, but they don't know how much time he spent uh, in Malton, and of course, how much uh, time he spent wanting to be a Montonian. He tried to pretend it. He wasn't one, but he tried. Part of a Brampton area riding. And when they looked at changing the boundaries of the riding, what they did was they divided. Now, it wasn't bad enough that Malton was part of Bramley Gore in the Brampton riding. They divided Mal Malton in half right across Morningstar. So north of Morningstar was part of Brampton, and south of Morningstar was part of Mississauga. So we fought that. We fought that and made sure that all of Malton was part of Mississauga.
We have a lot of meetings on whether there should be a crematorium on dairy, and we agree that there shouldn't be because it's too close to homes. We help bring the food bank up here for seven for people who need to use the food bank. And we created a hockey league for kids who have never played hockey before, kind of a low cost opportunity to try hockey up at the Malton Arena because the Malton Arena wasn't being used for house league. So with the help of some of the dads in the community, we created the Shinny Hockey League. Until you actually come here and you start working here, you realize how, how nice and friendly and warm the people are. And uh, remember, people in Moulton have come from different lands. And to put them all together, they move into an area and all the languages and all the different cultures, and they live and they work well together. When you come to Malton, you can really see the whole community working together. We have dedicated and committed citizens like Miss Peterson and Mrs. Burroughs. Last year, I was the co-chair of the Malton Festival. And I've watched so many of the community of people come out to the festival. If each community, individual who live in the community, would tell people outside of Malton and invite them to the festival, then you'll see, people will get to see what Malton is about. Years, I would say about 33 years I've been doing community work in Malton. Thursday afternoons, I think I'm probably the only counselor that's ever had office hours right in Malton. Uh, our trustee, Mr. Rick William, he is exceptional. He loves his school, he's always in school, and he supports his schools 100%. Three years ago, I was blessed to be Woman of the Year by the PCHC. I'm of every race and every creed. I'm, uh, I belong to the Guru Nanak Foundation, which is Sikh. I'm an honorary member of the Hindu Club at Lincoln Alexander. So I'd say the residents focus on your success, the things you've done well, um, be united. We've got after school programs for the younger middle school age, but I think teens, some of them don't have enough to do. To know that I would like to see them invest in Lake Alexander. We have a great big pool, uh, an area where pool used to be, and that space can be well invested either in an aviation program or a broadcast area. In the past been what we call a priority community and so there are often additional funds available for priority communities and Roman Pan CIP community improvement plan that's additional funds for Malton and that will look at a whole range of things as well as what more parks we need what more investment we need in infrastructure if there need to be zoning changes if we can create more retail you know less industrial those kinds of things will be discussed in the community improvement plan and more funding will be available hopefully as well. So those are very good things that will be underway. Uh, each and every Maltonian has a responsibility to continue to, uh, to promote the, the, uh, the, the attributes of community unity, to, uh, to look to, uh, to understand where other people are coming from and to appreciate our, our, our culturally diverse uh, community. Malte!